Hi everyone, Mosmo here from the Blue Root team. And today I have something super cool, like short and sweet, but really cool that I wanna show you. And it's a new feature inside of the CRM. It's something that's been asked for for a long time. And essentially what it is, is the ability to customize the look and feel of your task, call and meeting related list inside of a contact or a deal or an account or whatever. So if you think of a contact, you click on the left-hand side to hit your tasks, it'll scroll you down, and then you will see all of your tasks, meetings, calls, et cetera, in a certain format. Zoho has just released a feature where you can now customize that format and change it to your liking. And so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to find these features and then also how to customize things. As always, please like, comment, subscribe. We love hearing from you and uh, feel free to join our inner circle, check it out, be a part of our community and uh, I'll see you in the video. All right, so let's get into it. Right now I'm inside of the contact or in our case, client module. You may call it something different, but traditionally it's called the contact module. And you'll see, like I said in the intro, if you hit open activities, it'll scroll you down to this section. And for at least the last year, this is how Zoho has looked when it comes to the activity tab. People have had varying feedback about it. And so what Zoho has done is they've allowed you to actually customize this. Very soon, if you don't have it already, you will have a drop down here. This dropdown gives you a few options. So I'm gonna start with the tab view. If I click tab view, this is probably a very, uh, at least people who have been on Zoho for a while will recognize this. So you'll see here, you'll have columns and rows. As you create new tasks, it'll create new rows. And if you have meetings, they'll go in a different table and calls, they'll go in a different table or tab. Now, if you wanna add more columns here, you can simply go like this, tasks and add them, right? But in any case, th this is a very handy way. And honestly, I, I think a way that's gonna overwhelmingly be chosen by people. Cause this is honestly how Zoho had it for, I don't know, five, eight, nine years, right? Now they have another tab here, which is quite interesting, chronological. And so what this one will do is it'll just like, for example, if I create a new meeting here and I say it's for next week. So you'll see here it put next week. Now, if I add a new meeting here and I say, and I say it's for last week, you'll see it won't even show here because it's just showing now onwards. And so one of the things it, it'll show the, it down here. One of the neat things about this is it's auto going to refresh. So one of the things that tasks and this view had or has is it's going to show everything. You're probably going to want to, th this is like a nice little way to view all of your upcoming actions in order. You don't have to worry about if it's in order, by default, it's always in order. And so this one I think is also gonna be heavily used. They're both really neat. And the cool thing is you can change this, it's not gonna affect the rest of your users. So feel free to try this out. It's gonna be coming out to all Zoho clients very soon, if not already. By the way, you can also do it here. So in the close tasks, um, you can do it in chronological as well and you have the choice between the two, right? Or the closed activities, I should say. As always, please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.